Hi everyone, today I am doing a reminder for our goth challenge or goth collaboration which is coming up on Friday the 16th of July. So the idea is that everyone can join in with Marna and myself in our goth collaboration I think is probably a, uh, a better term than challenge. Barna and I are each making a goth doll or a goth themed doll. I'm using Amelia for most of my videos. So Amelia is my goth themed doll. So far she's got some tattoos, she's got her eyelids painted, I've given her some eyebrows, painted her lips and uh, given her a little heart on her cheek. For this collaboration, we are inviting every, anyone and everyone to join in and show us their goth doll. So whether you have a doll that's goth already and you'd just like to share her with us, whether you make a doll or dress a doll in a goth theme to join in, the, to join in with us, Whatever you want to do or don't want to do, that's absolutely fine. There's been a lot of interest in this collaboration and it's been a lot of fun so far. I'm really looking forward to seeing everyone's entries or everyone's pictures and videos for this goth doll theme. If you decide to join in, please pop over on the 16th of July to mine or Marna's or mine and Marna's videos and pop the link to your video in our comments along with the hashtag dolls gone goth and today i thought i would do a quick little tutorial on how to make socks for your blithe doll i want to make some stri uh, stripy socks for my doll and this tutorial will work for any doll and I'm using a piece of t-shirt material. I literally cut this off the bottom of one of my tops that um, it was too long, I think, and I just cut it shorter. So this is a piece of t-shirt material. And all I'm going to do is, this will work for any size of doll too. We'll lay her on a tummy. And I'm going to make her a pair of, well, actually, I might make her a pair of stockings so that they're longer. To do that, you get your fabric inside out and literally just pin it into position. You really do need T-shirt or stretch fabric for this so that you can stretch it on and you can make it fit a bit, a bit better. To make a sock, you just make it come up to here. This will work on any size of doll and you do exactly the same thing. You wrap the fabric round, pin it into position. Here are my pins. I'm just going to pin. I'm going to straighten her foot out a bit. As I'm making stockings, I'm going to go up to the top of her leg. And I'm going to pin... this fabric around her foot not too tight I will find that you can't get it off and on easily so not too tight but not too loose either. so give it a bit of a stretch put your pin in pin it all the way up then I'm going to take my scissors And just trim this round so we need to trim around here just loosely don't go mad because you can always trim it down a bit more once you've stitched it there we are and then I'm going to get my sewing machine or you can get a needle and thread and I'm going to stitch around where I'm pinned. 
so I'm going to stitch down here like this following the pins and I'm going to do that twice so I've stitched both socks or stockings along where I pinned them you could do this by hand or on your machine the next thing we need to do is trim off the excess seam allowance so I'm doing that here because this is t-shirt material stretch cotton you won't need to edge it it won't fray so I'm trimming that now and we'll trim the other one too there we are so both socks are now tripped let's try them on it so that's my quick little video on how to make socks for your blind doll or any doll really they'll they'll fit any doll if you want them to be socks they can be shorter for the stockings i'm just going to roll up roll the tops down no one will see them because they'll be under her clothes if they were socks i would turn them over at the top and just hand stitch around or I would stitch around before I sewed the back up just do a little um, hem on them so there are those look how cute they are I uh, hope you enjoyed that thank you for watching bye for now